Top health officials in the United States are sounding an urgent new alarm about the spread of the Zika virus in this country. Everything we look at with this virus seems to be a bit scarier than we initially thought. And so while we absolutely hope we don't see widespread local transmission in the continental U.S., we need the states to be ready for that. 30 states are now projected to get the type of mosquito that spreads the Zika virus by summer. That's up from an earlier estimate of just 12 states. Our chief medical correspondent, Dr. John LaPook, is here to explain why the threat is now considered more severe. John, good morning. Good morning. Why is it considered more severe? Well, it, this is a nasty virus. Every time we look at it, every week, we seem to learn something new. There was a recent study from Brazil. 29% of Brazilian women who were pregnant who had the virus ended up having abnormal fetal ultrasounds. And it occurred any time during pregnancy, not just the first trimester. But why is it scarier than we thought here in the U.S.? Well, initially the estimates were that the 80s Egyptian mosquito that carries the Zika virus were, were, was about in 12 states. Now we think it's going to be in about 30 states. Uh, the fear is right now the Zika virus is not in mosquitoes in the United States. Anybody here who has it has brought it in from somewhere else. But the fear is that eventually somebody will come here infected and a mosquito that's not infected will bite that person, pick up the virus, and now you're gonna have local mm -hmm. transmission. Right, and summer is coming, so we're gonna have a lot more mosquitoes out there. We know the dangerous effects for an unborn child, right. pregnant women. What about um, men and women, others, adults, children? You know, it, it is mainly a problem for pregnant women. However, we're now finding out that it can affect neurological tissue anywhere. There's some fancy Guillain-Barre syndrome, acute disseminated encephalomyelitis, a lot of fancy medical terms to say that this thing goes after neurological tissue in the spine, in the brain, it can cause severe symptoms. No. But it's relatively rare in adults. And not just the microencephaly that we first heard about with No, the with microencephaly, babies. we have abnormally small brains and, and heads, and that can lead to developmental problems. When we talked about Ebola a few years ago, it was, we're worried, but it's not going to spread. Don't have mass panic. Where are we now with this? I, I still think it's not going to spread widely. That's what all the officials are telling me, and you shouldn't have mass panic. However, I actually am more concerned about the problem here in the United States than I was about Ebola, uh, because there are no symptoms. 80% yeah. of people are asymptomatic. You have areas in the United States, especially poor areas in the South, where it looks kind of like Brazil, where you have broken windows, you have freestanding water. And uh, Dr. Peter Hotez from Baylor is jumping up and down saying we got to go after these areas and clean them up because if the first day that a mosquito in the United States is found to be infected with Zika virus, a lot of women are going to be worried. This comes as the White House is asking for a lot of money from Congress. Dr. LaPook, thank you so much.